Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 4 and on Lesson 12, and we're going to try to recognize symmetry using two-dimensional figures. So we're going to try to figure out the lines uh, that create symmetry, and we're going to try to draw those lines in some cases. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from today's homework. Let's take a look at problem number one. Problem number one asks us to circle the figures that have a correct line of symmetry drawn. I just want to take a quick look at maybe C and D and see if we think that those, are, uh, those lines of symmetry are drawn correctly. Let's see. In, lines, in, in figure C, they drew a little dotted line in here. So if we look on the left side, do we see the exact same thing that we see on the right side? Well, actually, that looks pretty good, right? If we imagine holding up a mirror here at the line of symmetry, we would see that exact same curve that makes up the heart. So I think I'm pretty happy with what they've done here for C. Let's take a look at D. If we looked at the line of symmetry drawn in D, if we look at that, if we held up a mirror at that line, would we see the same thing on both sides? I don't think so. We have this whole big section over here. And what do we have on the right side? Do we have the same thing? No, we don't. We have this little stubby part here at the top. Do we see the same thing over here? No. So I think that's a no. Let's take a look at number two. Um, I'm going to do just the simpler ones here and see what you guys think. Find and draw, let's see, find and draw all lines of symmetry for the following figures. Write the number of lines of symmetry that you found on the blank underneath the shape. Well, this is, I'm going to take a look at B, because B is... Fantastic. Let's see. The most obvious thing we could try is we could try drawing something right down the middle. Like that. And the question is, are both sides of this line of symmetry exactly the same? And I think the answer is yes. I think that's one line of symmetry. Now, what if we drew the line through the middle the other way? What if we did it that way? If we drew the line of symmetry here in the middle, from the right to the left, is it the same on the top and the bottom? And actually, I think it is. Again, it, it, does it, pretty, it holds up pretty well. But the final question I want to ask you is, what if we did it from the corners? What if we drew like that? If we imagined drawing it from the corners like that, right here, here, oops, sorry. Ah, excellent. If we imagined going through the corners like that, is the figure the same on each side? And again, I think it is. And if it works on that corner, I wonder if it would work on this corner too, from the lower left to the upper right. So I think we have four lines of symmetry that we can draw through this square. That whether we look at that in various different ways, we will see if we look at it this way, if we look at it this way, if we look at it this way, and if we look at it this way, right? We'll see four different ways that we can have lines of symmetry in this figure. So that's my answer for 2a. Let's take a look at one more problem. Let's take a look at 3b. I'm going to do 3b. Read our directions. Half of each figure has been drawn. Half of each figure here below has been drawn. Use the, use the line of symmetry represented by the dashed line okay, to complete each figure. So you'll see in b there's a very slight dashed line here. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use my blue marker Let's see what I have to do to figure this out. Let's see, so this is the line of symmetry. We need, we need basically the same figure over here. So let's see how that's going to work. It looks like on this side we went two uh, units out. So I'm going to go two units out here on the right-hand side. And let's see, I'll look at the bottom line. We went one, two, three, four, five units out. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five units out there. And then I'm going to connect those with a line. So that's my uh, completing of the figure if I use that line of symmetry, that I do the exact same thing on the, on the right-hand side that was done on the left. Go two units out, go five units out, and then connect, the, uh, connect the, the ends of those two lines here with this diagonal. So that's how I'm going to do this one. You should be able to do the other ones in three and take a shot at the other problems here in tonight's homework. So I hope you've had a good time here on the Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time.